Interesting facts about famous people. Ten more underrated Western movies. Following up on my underrated Western movies video, if you haven't seen it, take a look at my channel. The link is in the description. I now have added another 10. These are based on the feedback from my viewers who saw the first 10, in no particular order. If you like this video, you can see my many others in my channel. The link is in the description. Now let's get into it. Lawman, a 1971 Western film. Drunken cowhands from the town of Sabath shoot up the western town of Bannock. Produced and directed by Michael Winner and starring Burt Lancaster, Robert Ryan, Lee J. Cobb and Robert Duvall. There's been enough. One-Eyed Jacks, a 1961 western. Rio, his mentor, Dad Longworth, and a third man called Doc. Robber bank of two saddlebags of gold in Mexico. Friend, Mexican huh? police catch them, celebrating in a cantina and kill Doc. Dad and Rio escape, but Dad leaves Rio to be taken. Rio is arrested and spends five years in prison. Escaping, he travels to California, where Dad has become a sheriff. Directed by and starring Marlon Brando, his only directorial credit. Brando portrays the lead character, Rio, and Carl Malden plays his partner, Dad, Longworth. The supporting cast features Pina Palacio, Katie Girardo, Ben Johnson, and Slim Pickens. Bone Tomahawk, a 2015 Western cannibal horror film. Stars Kurt Russell, directly. Patrick yes, Wilson, Matthew Fox, you. Richard Jenkins, He's got no Lily Simmons, Evan Jonikit, David Arquette. The film is about a small town sheriff who leads a posse into a desolate region to rescue three people who were abducted by a cannibalistic Native American clan. Will Tenere? That's right. And Will Tenere? A gunfight. A 1971 Western. Two aging gunfighters in need of money come to an agreement to organize an actual showdown between you, them and sell tickets for it. Either. The townsfolk are more What's than interested to, to see the show. Next Stars Kirk Sunday, Douglas, Johnny Cash, and Jane that Alexander. Has never been seen before. Not a man at the bowl, but two men. These two men will be here in a gunfight to the best. Bring for. What's you got there? You should be heading up the Dry Morongo Pass. Tell Them Willie Boy is here, a 1969 Western based on the true story of a Native American named Willie Boy and his running with the law in 1909 in Banning, California. The film is an adaptation of the 1960 book Willie Boy, A Desert Manhunt by Harry Walton, written and directed by the once blacklisted Abraham Polonsky, who, due to his blacklisting, had not directed a film since Force of Evil in 1948. Stars Robert Redford, Catherine Ross, and Robert Blake. If they come close, I'll yell! The Sisters Brothers, a 2018 Western. Eli and Charlie Sisters, an infamous duo of gunslinging assassins, chase a gold prospector and his unexpected ally in 1950s Oregon. Directed by Jacques Audiard. Stars John C. Riley, Wahin Phoenix, Jake Gyllenhaal. What is your goddamn problem? 310 to Yuma, a 2007 Western action drama film directed by James Mangold, starring Russell Crowe and Christian Bale in the lead roles, with supporting performances by Peter Fonda, Gretchen Moll, Ben Foster, Dallas Roberts, Alan Tudyk, Vanessa Shaw, and Logan Lerman, a drought impoverished rancher, Bale. He takes on the dangerous job of taking a notorious outlaw, Crow, to justice. The second adaptation of Elmore Leonard's 1953 short story, 310 to Yuma. Bullzana. Bullzana's Raid, a 1972 revisionist western film starring Burt Lancaster, Richard Jekyll, Bruce Davison and Wahin Martinez. The film, which was filmed on location in Arizona, 
was directed by Robert Aldrich, based on a script by Alan Sharp. It betrays a brutal raid by Apaches against settlers in 1880s Arizona. The bleak and nihilistic tone of US troops chasing an elusive merciless enemy was seen as allegory the United States participation in the Vietnam War. Crossfire Trail, a 2001 made-for-television Western film directed by Simon Winsor and starring Tom Selleck, Virginia Madsen and Wilford Brimley. The film is about a wanderer named Rafe Covington who swears an oath to his dying best friend to look after his beloved wife and Wyoming ranch, only to encounter other forces who want the ranch and the woman for their own purposes. Heroes keep them. Yes, today was my day to die. Day ain't over yet. Chato's Land, a 1972 western, directed by Michael Winsor, starring Charles Bronson and Jack Palance. In Apache country, half-native Chato shoots the local sheriff in self-defense and finds himself hunted by a posse of ex-Confederates. They rape his wife, leaving her tied up as bait to trap him. Freeing her, Chato uses his superior skills to pick off and kill each of the posse. Apologies for any mistakes with mispronunciations, especially for names. I'm doing my best. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. They help me a lot. Bye for now. Thank you.